privilege of uh, doing the warm-up uh, at Strides for Life with American Cancer Society with one of my instructors, Claudia Shane Cook, which was absolutely wonderful. And I hope that one of you out there, or many of you out there, did something for Breast Cancer Month. It is October. So continuing on, I had a lot of requests for some exercises having to do with balance. A balance affects us all, especially after a certain age. Um, we lose a certain amount of our balance. But especially if you've had any kind of breast cancer surgery, lung surgery, prostate cancer, testicular cancer, or any type of radiation or surgery that can shorten your muscles, can shrink and cause scar tissue, can actually change your posture. So you might find yourself with one shoulder higher. So you should take a look in the mirror actually at your posture and see if you are one of those folks that have one shoulder higher. It happens to many of us. Even without the surgery or radiation, it can happen to you as time moves on and we get one shoulder higher. And this particular exercise is going to help your balance, your posture, and correct a lot of the issues that you are having. It came to my attention by one of my instructors in Korea, uh, Yang Soon, which I have to thank very much for that. And the prop that I'm using is a golf club liner, which is not hard to get if you go to any kind of pro shop or golf shop. They sell them. It's for golf clubs when they put them in the bag so that the golf clubs don't touch one another. They're not expensive to buy. And if you have trouble finding them, you can contact me and I will give you the phone number and website where you can buy them. You can contact me at my website at www.gohealthysteps.com and use the contact us and you will get right to me. So one of the things I want you to do, and I love this, don't use anything like a pole or a dowel because they contain weight. The one thing that's great about this is it's not weight bearing, which is very important. It's smooth so you can clean it. And also, it, it doesn't give you any kind of um, wood, so you're not going to get any wood chips in your hand, which may cause infection. And if you have a lymphedema sleeve, it's not going to catch on anything. So this is a pretty great tool, and as I said to you, it's not very expensive. So this is how you're going to use it. You're going to bend your elbows, and I'm going to turn sideways when I finish talking to you so you can see how I'm using it. You're going to bend your elbows, and it's held chest high. Now, if your shoulders are not even, when you pick it up, you're going to want to do this, because that's how your shoulder might be. And you don't do that. You're going to hold it like this. So maybe getting in front of a mirror the first time might be a good thing, okay? So make sure you're even. Now it may feel very funny to you because this is not how you've been standing. You've been standing perhaps like this and not even knowing it. And the spine is a very flexible thing so it's something that we can fix. You might want to have a chair next to you so that you can lean against it for the exercise so that if your balance is a little off because it's the first time your shoulders are equal and you might want to fall or lean you have the chair against you. So I'm just going to turn sideways so you can see how far out my hands are. See, they're about this far out. My elbows are bent. I don't have it here and I don't have it here. I have it right about here. Chest width apart, shoulder height. Okay? Good. Now, the object of this exercise is to make pretend that both sides of this pole are attached to the wall. So it isn't freestanding. I know it is, but I want you to mind set yourself that it is not. And when we do this exercise, 
we're going to stare straight ahead at an object, but we're still going to see the pole in our vision. So this is a very mind-controlled exercise, and you need a lot of concentration for it. So I'm just going to give you a sample of it. My pole is attached to either wall. I'm going to stare straight ahead. Now, even though I'm staring straight ahead, in my vision, I am still seeing the pole. Okay, so you understand that theory. Don't break it. Just really concentrate on it. We've had people with Parkinson's and MS do so well with this. So I want you to really concentrate on it. All right? So the camera's going to have to go down to my feet now. But I'm still going to talk to you about what you're doing with your hands. All right? So with our feet, I want you to lift up on your toes, up, all the way up on your toes, and down. Now remember, you're concentrating, looking straight ahead, still seeing the pole in your vision, and it's attached to both sides. Now, if you think you're going to lose your balance, I want you to squeeze that pole harder, as if it's attached. Squeeze it harder, and lower down. Good. Now, up on your toes again. Good. Stay there. Now lift up again on your toes. This will be the third time. And down. Now on the fourth one, I want you to hold on your toes. Good. For as long as you can. Remember, squeeze the pole hard. Remember to look up and over the pole, but still see it in your vision. Pretend that it's connected to both sides. Stay there. Stay there. Squeeze the pole. Stay as long as you can. And lower. Good. I'd like you to do that up to four sets, whatever you can do. Excellent. Now the next exercise I'm going to give you, I would like you to lift your leg. Point first. Then lift your leg up in the air, and again, looking up and over your pole, have it attached to the wall, squeezing it, balance. Good. And down. Same leg. Touch it to the side first. Lift it. Hold it. Hold it. Very nice. Now the same thing, touch it to the back, lift it, hold it, hold it, very, very nice. Now the other side, touch your foot first, get your balance, lift it, remember, look up and over your pole, but see your pole in your vision, squeeze it, touch it and down. Now touch your foot to the side, lift it, hold it, hold it, and down. And you would walk around to the other side of your chair. I'm not going to, but you would. Touch it to the back, lift it, lift it, hold it, squeeze the pole if you think you're going to lose your balance. Touch it, and down. Excellent. Now repeat that exercise doing the other foot again and then repeat it doing the other foot once again. So we have lifting up on your toes and down three times. Hold it on the fourth. Then we have point your toe front, lift the leg in balance, point it side, lift it in balance, point it back, lift it in balance. Then walk around your chair, do the other foot. Point your toe, lift it up and balance. Side, lift it up and balance. Point, lift it up and balance. Great. Now, I'm going to continue this balance work next week when you tune in. So, tune in, practice, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.